Hello and good morning and welcome back to Baron Breakfast. This time, um, a mouse was trying to do something. Making some kind of sick deal with us. It could be a nice table. Oh. Oh, who's there? Why, this is quite unexpected. My, you're a big fella, aren't you? You don't seem very frightening. It's alright, you know, the first creature I made around these parts. You don't be afraid. Oh, sorry, I didn't mean to startle you. Well, it's quite nice to meet you too, dear. I'm Barbara. I've been the keeper of these woods ever since I could tell a jop joppy Jeffrey from a blue shag. Do you know where you are? I've lived here all my life. Oh, of course you don't. You're not around here, I would have known. Well, we're in Timber Crossing, one of the largest lumber hubs this side of the valley. Or, well, it used to be. Barely a soul sets foot in this place anymore, although... Lately, I've noticed quite a few more souls than usual. Almost like something's throwing people back. And then I couldn't help but see what a wonderful little shed we got. Did you have a hand at that? <clears throat> Might put a few things together. Never thought I'd see another person visit our little valley, let alone tourists. Say, so yeah, it's quite the accomplishment to do on your own. Hope I'll see more of your handiwork soon. Thanks. Okay, she's she's leaving tomorrow. Okay. Well, she can hang out then, I guess. A twenty-four. Uh huh. Oh, bricks. Shiny. Not here either. He skipped town again or is laying in a ditch somewhere? That boy couldn't tell his tail hole for his mouth hole, but he wouldn't bail. Not on us. <clears throat> uh, it's 10 o'clock, Chief. What a surprise, our hefty entrepreneur. Is there a problem, boss? Not yet, anyway. How'd you find the trip, Hank? I don't think I told you my name. You didn't have to. I knew it before your mother did. I don't think she knew, sir. Mom didn't name me. There is really thinner up here, ain't it? Sure is. I didn't catch your name. That's because I don't throw it around. It's on need-to-know basis. Need-to-know basis. Well, I kind of need to know. You don't get far with that attitude, kid. Anyway, I'm Anton. I run the place. What place? Ha, huh, what place? This place. Everything the stench touches. Listen, you haven't heard all these questions yet. My collaborator up north said you got something good bringing people back to the valley. That's good news for everyone, but we got a problem. When my crew went missing three nights ago, Claire will fill you in. Must wait at approximately 9 p.m. near the Black Moss border. We are out doing our scavenge runs. I was negotiating a particularly heavy piece of scrap. Ten seconds later, turn around, there was no wade. Low hiss of the swamp. Have any idea what happened to him? No, but you will. I'll make you a deal. You need me and my dump to get your little venture up and running. Otherwise, you'll run around for scraps and die old age for your first customer sets foot in the place. Let you keep any scrap you find in here if you get us weighed back. I suspect he's somewhere in Black Moss. That's where I check first. Wouldn't be sitting around if I were you. Alright. How to use that yet? Okay. Do 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 do. Let's 
There's some kind of exciting recycling machine up there, I guess. Oh, it's the other side of Black Moss. Nice. Charcoal Lily. Free couch. So alligator witch, nice. Hello? Why not this again? I swear on my tail. What happened this time? Stuck a hand down the drain pipe? Bad mushrooms? Heard a noise come from the trees? Oh no, I was just looking. Cause I hate to break it to you, all trees make noise. That's pretty much all they do. They sure as hell ain't doing it for you. I'm sorry to bother you, ma'am. I just looking for a friend. Friend here? Happy hour ain't what it used to be? He's pretty small. I think he got lost. I'm worried something happened to him. Small, how small are we talking? Because small things don't last a lot of time around here. Unless you mean shelf life. Oh gosh, no, it, it's a rat. His name's Weed. Oh crickets, someone came looking for that thing? Should we pay him your rent? Yeah, I know where your weight is. Fortunately. Come inside. Inside? Don't go brave on me. You're too big for my cauldron anyway. Oh, here we go. And then just before the tire-haired boss pulled up his cane and smacked it out of the way. Oh, golly, and then what happened? I got peace and scrammed. Wow, what was that like, the thing? Oh, you mean the little artifact that yours truly sniffed out in less than an hour? Only about the rustiest cataclysmic comfort you ever seen. Wow. Stank, too, real bad. I think a cockroach lived in it before we found it. Whoa. Twig, what did I say about liaising with the criminal? Criminal? Where? Yes, ma'am. Sorry, ma'am. Besides, we have a guest. A rather unusual one at that. Wade? Are, are you Wade? Hello. I mean, no, I'm not. Oh, yes, he is. Festering, noisy pest. Can't keep his tail out of the people's business. Just prepping him for pickling, if you need to know. His tiny bones make for great feather holders. No, you were not. You just said you didn't know how to get rid of him. The child. Who wants to know? I'm on a mission to get you back to the dump. Your boss is worried sick. You talked to Mr. A. Well, more like slightly preoccupied. I can't believe you sent someone after me. Yeah, he told me to bring you back and you let me use the dump. So I can get more humans in the valley. He never lets any outsiders in the dump. You must be something special, mister. Let's not go too hasty, Mr. Special. This rat isn't leaving this place just like that. But you just said you wanted him gone. Of course I do, but now you want to take him. So there's a value of circumstance. Ran out of charcoal lilies for my pickle juice. We'll find him anywhere else but black moss. Or maybe the bird brain A24 has some sale. He just gets them here anyway. Ipswich wholesale. Okay. Back a few and we'll see about jailbreaking your newfound friend. Uh-huh. Oh, don't. Seven, okay. That's fine. Ding ding, now I got it. Love to get all these building supplies. Okay, okay, I'll go around. Okay. 
Okay, sup. Got what I asked for? Dozen lilies, like you said. One, two, yeah, that looks right. Good, this better have been worth your time, because next time you're taking them back in a jar and paying double. Thanks for helping out, mister. Charlotte can't bend after the lilies like she used to. Shush, child. Charlotte, the half-tailed alligator, struck Hank as someone who was good at trying to be scary. But didn't always take the landing. Seven by Twig, you hear tadpole, buddy. Who, by their mere presence, debunked any worry that Charlie would actually try to fit Hank in her big boiling cauldron. That's hope, at least. Alright, Pip Squeak. Yes, ma'am? Scram. Yes, ma'am. Thanks. All right. Join the celebration. Find the source of joy. Okay. Come all to annual celebration. Finn, join the joyous jubilation and celebrate things to make life worth living. Our special offers and exclusive discounts. You're not Finn. Of course I am. I'm Terry Finn. Because I get up every day feeling this Terry Finn. A different kind of annoying. So is it Terry or Finn? Having two first names is an egregious marketing offense that only leads to customer confusion. Parental advice materials should include branding guidelines. I'm always saying that. And it was conveniently picked by a committee of advertising specialists based on current cultural and pun friendly trends. As nature intended, Pon Voyage would like to commemorate this very sad yet let yet let sad yet lucrative past year. Bring you the festive winter spirit. In perchable form Okay. I'm a sucker for little festive versions of everyday things. Great. Okay. Ah, I see. I want this cat picture in this wall photo. Okay. Grocery store, diner sign. Construction service, uh-huh. Yay. Oh, I see. Buy it all fun places. Left for right foot, just keep going. Your bones can't ache if they don't if they don't have time to think about it. That's fair. Probably try to get some more building recipes. Maybe Tony can sell them. I don't know. You are not stepping one foot outside the stinking dump. Not one foot? Yes, ma'am. For a month? Yes, ma'am. First rule of archaeology is the cream always rises at the top, so make sure you did down deep. Claire obviously is in the right hand of the opera is obviously the right hand of the operation. Her skill to find the best stuff is only matched by loyalty to the old rat. Anton, the boss, seems like a real hard ass. 
Well, I guess you gotta be in this line of business. Way to be close to the left hand of the sting. Useful in limited capacity and only under strict supervision. At least according to Anton. What a strange bunch. I always say I've had enough of him, but then I remember the advantage to have an extra pair of paws on hand. Like for sending out wild, wild goose cheeses? Exactly. You're welcome. Don't fly yourself too much. You did what you are told. Suppose there's another end to this bargain, and we always keep our word. Boss says goes, no exception. He's been digging through scraps longer than you know how to wear a hat. Okay. No good two time little rat. Gates open what you want. Nothing, I was just about to, to I tell you what, there's no respect in top down criminal organization business anymore. Someone to have boot lickers and there's no passion for boots or licking. It's <laughs> a good point. And the flavor isn't great. Maybe the flavor isn't great. I'll uh, turn you into boots and see what flavor comes out, eh? Bear flavor? You should really stop testing my patience and get to the dump. The bag of doorknobs back there you might get along with. I hope they like me. Claire, get this bird brain beef on the garbage grinder. Maybe we get lucky and he falls in. What do you want, bird brain? Anton said something about doorknobs? You don't get to address the boss like that. He's boss to you. Oh, sorry, boss said something about doorknobs. Sure, he did. Look, you gotta be careful around the dump. It's not a playground, especially around the garbage grinder. That'll rip your doorknob right off. Then I couldn't open any doors! Listen, you can throw any furniture you built yourself on the grinder. It'll wreck it, but you can salvage some of the materials. About half, give or take. A pick take. Just don't get your hand stuck in there, you'll lose it. Can't have any more ripped limbs just lying around anymore. Or else the boss is gonna lose it. My hand? I'm not talking to you anymore. Okay, yep. Not salvage decorative items. Okay, sure. It's fine. There's a bus stop down there. Let's see if I can't build that. There we go. Love public transit. Okay. Always make sure your property is up to Palm Voyage and compromising standards. Standards aren't compromising as they yet. Congratulations, you met the absolute bare minimum requirements to be a halfway decent service provider. The world is at your fingertips. Who knows? In a year or ten, you might be on your way to the minimum tax bracket. Talk about a bleak future. Let's talk about a bright one. Your next adventure with Pawn Voyage. Remember, wherever you want to add new premium property to the Pawn Network, find your local pawn truck. Just press the green button. Finley's find construction placards. Offshore building and management quests at each resort. Okay. Extra money or collectibles. Upon completion, guests will demand better accommodations but pay more for the stay. Okay. Yay. Or a cool pair of pants. I would love a cool pair of pants.
There we go. Okay. Okay, uh, let's see. An area rug. Got this towel rack. Which place over here. I mean, I've got, yeah, I can have that. Um, you can have this. There we go. All right. Making money now. buy another bus stop thing and luck fast travel over here and maybe improve the uh, outhouse Travel is more important, I think. Fast travel is more important than letting the humans take a shit, you know? Just me, your local Wood Samaritan. Okay, you don't. You don't want anything. Okay. Well. 
Find Finn in A24. Okay. It's the biggest crack I've ever seen. Hee <laughs> hee. You lose nothing to gain. Okay. Hello again. Part of an exciting experience. Enticing escape. Electrifying enterprise. I'm already part of one. Arid plains. Desiccated desert. We're sitting in a parking lot. The wild wasteland. Can't believe I'm following a fish suit around. A24 is the main artery of the valley. When guitars hum, the tunes of old country roads. It's the one they sing about. And this brand new premium habitation facility is the first and only stop for the brave soar on the run. Oasis and Oasis and otherwise barren realm. There's literally a shop across the road. No mistake, adventurers can't be expected to live off a tent and trail mix. They require the best amenities. Which is a perfect point of expansion for your chain of premium properties. Sensing a lot of cleanup work. You should always trust your senses. Yeah. Nice construction service. Welcome to the roadside motel. Would you like to repair it? I would. I would love to. One clear. I need debris. Okay. Love to clear debris. Structure clear? It is. Good job. This is not a step. Just thought I'd let you know you did a good job. Step two, gather construction materials. Planks, iron, nails, and stone. Okay. Yeah, I, I did that. Step three, get your butt to work. Okay. It's ready. Astounding. You're on your way to become the biggest hospitality developer on this side of the canyon. You're currently in position one out of one. Yeah, that's not bad. Cer certainly something. As a expert, I can assure your senses are now precisely tuned. Next step in this possibly yet not probably profitable operation. Trick the humans to come over. Trick the humans to come over. I mean, offer a valued customer room for lodging. Book a guest in the hotel, then return to receive completely unauthorized instructions on how to build bathrooms. Build a bedroom and book it to a guest. Okay. Oh, I don't have enough money for this. Yep. Yeah. You have to earn a little more cash first. Sorry. Like you barely know how to put one foot in front of the other. I'm not surprised. Excuse me? Tell me, child, do you reckon with the wild? Do you flirt with the bizarre? Back in the uncharted? I tend to occasionally look away in the distance. No, I didn't think so. You didn't look the part. I never set foot in a shadow darker than your mother's. These lands are young, you are greener than the crude sapling. Nothing but fear! But those who fear nothing! What the hell are you talking about? Oh, fine. I'm lucky to sell well. On someone thing with pockets. Just call me a something. 
hope for your sake they're not empty. Say, you wouldn't happen to know anything about all the humans showing up out of nowhere, would you? I am. I might have had a hand in that. There's no stopping them now, is there? Once they start coming back, they'll keep coming. I won't complain. Business has been slow since that dreadful blaze. Didn't know the fire reached all the way out here. Well, the fire wasn't even close to the worst of it, lad. Shouting the anger of the pain as if the gods were waging war over us. Maybe they were. Now you're getting it. Anyway, you might be taking care of the motel, but there's clearly like a lack of stuff to bite on around here. It's the old Dino vs. Sweet Supply for. If you can get back up to speed, I'm pretty sure you'll get more people to come over. I would love to repair the diner. Yep, I did it. Porcelain chunks, glass panels, okay. I don't know about those, but... Bet all that's probably at the dump, right? Glass panels, and I just need some porcelain chunks. It's an old computer. What does a porcelain chunk even look like, I wonder? Clearly none of this is going to do. Let's see. Oh, I do have four porcelain chunks. All right. <clears throat> Just got to keep on keeping on. Too high, like uh, not yet. Just keep working, you know? That's what you gotta do. Prospector's gear, okay.
Oh, she's CP. She's CP. Collecting all the stuff, don't mind me. Too thick it. Okay. I need loggers tools to up, up to do that shortcut. Okay. Fair enough. That'll be useful later. Keep that in mind. My dude staying at the shack yet. Let's see. Luxurious outhouse, yes. Nothing could be more luxurious than an outhouse. Stone Bay, okay. Running out of stuff to grab, but I'm working on it. I have people booked, right? Arrives tomorrow. Okay, great. There we go. Now I got enough porcelain chunks. Ooh, church chest. Desert, Narendra Metal Shack with Gus, the most handsome possible day four. I like taking through junk was the main activity around here, and he was no rookie. But it looks like it, Gus's primary concern remained his charm and his driving wheel. Oh, hello. Mm hmm. I'm Hank. Okay. Who are you? Gus. Nice to meet you, Gus. Yes, it is. What do you do, Gus? Much. Don't seem to talk a lot either, Gus. I don't need to. That's fair. Well, I just wanted to introduce myself. I'm exactly putting your best foot forward here. Well, I got the two. They're so diversifying then. I think you're being a little rude. You're right. You're actually perfect. Thank you. What's with all the people? I think I might have a handle on that. Good. They got the best food and baubles. 
Nice scare easy. Jerk stream. You know, it's gonna get jerk to me. Hey, watch your mouth, buddy. You don't take kindly to those type of words. I used to roam all over the place. Reminds me of chickens. Stinky floating around, afraid of their own shadow, only stopping for the occasional turd. Living the dream, really. Well, you might start seeing more of them again. Doesn't bother me none, as long as they don't stink up the place. Maybe we don't burn down the joint again. All I left last time was a squirt sandwich and half a toilet. Fire almost got my little driving wheel, too. I love my little wheel. Worst part is, the sandwich turned out to be a stinking leather book. Ask me how I know. How do you know? You're not really playing with a full deck, are you? Don't really like gambling. I had you got a nice thick skin on you. That or your thickest gravy. Either way, I respect it. Thanks, I, I like your skin too, I think. Hey, what did I say about saying stuff like that? We don't do that around here. So it's a cheeky boy like you creeping around people for. I'm not creeping, I'm helping. Right, right. So making some extra beans on the side? Getting a kick out of scaring their little mustaches off? I think they're pretty neat, and I like the building part. And my buddy Will isn't too upset about the money. Bah, what are you going to use it for? Buying food? Haha, <laughs> I can yell right here in the middle of nowhere. I prefer it that way, just be my diddly little self and I. I get it, you seem pretty cool to hang out with. Right now, full more word like that and I'm done with you. Alright. Give Gus the possum a compliment. Actually, underneath that grubby exterior, I think you're secretly really nice. What's your problem exactly? Don't try to say things like that. I'm actually the biggest jerk you ever met, and you're probably the biggest one I've ever met. Uh huh. Well, here. Alright, here we go. We did it. How's the dining repair going? Going, going, gone. I mean, I mean, done. You should know, child, there's nothing more treacherous on this green earth than humans. Those bald gremlins. Do nothing in this world, yet they consume it. The dark spirit will be angry with their return. They freak me out when you do that. I suppose they do bring their fortunes. Which, of course, they don't share willingly. We have to pray or become prey. Or scavenge like rats. I don't suppose you've had any uh, bad dreams lately. No, none. I sleep like a baby. Yeah, alright, big honest baby. Don't worry, she only bites when she's told, and there's no one to tell her yes. Or no. Alright. Diner looks nice. I don't have any money. Any money. Metal biker bear. Yeah. Hell yeah. Definitely not the way to go. Alright. No pavement from here. Alright.
use tomorrow, leaves in two days, sure. Once any one of them cashes me out, I should be able to finish up stuff in the motel, I hope. Here? I thought I could sleep and move time forward. I see. Pocket money, okay. Okay, thank you. Is that enough? Okay, that, yeah, that's enough. Let's go build some motel space, I guess. At least try. through the swamp. Okay. This bedroom's not great, um, but that's okay. Yeah, this lady doesn't want anything. She can, she can go there. <clears throat> Why be in debt from the bank? You just borrow from your future. Uh huh. A guest on the way. Astounding. They're in for surprise lifetime. Take that as you will. 
premium desert location. We are freely able to exploit common resources to the benefit of our profit. That's right, water. It's a mutual exploitation thing. Due to our never ending quest for patron excellence. Unfortunate health and safety regulations. This location can support sanitator facilities, which are now a low key expectation for any visitor of this location. Can you guess what the next step is? There's a lot of words that say very few things. Correct, you must now build bathrooms for your guests. Okay. New type of score. Let's have an area effect around them and place a hygiene score to nearby bedrooms. Okay. It's a larger area of effect for the hygiene score. Just level of bathrooms by placing the higher level bathroom objects. Alright, yeah. Sure. Okay. Let's, uh... Crappy toilet. Wooden shower. Rusted sink. Sure. Hundred and thirty five dollars? Jesus. Okay. Absolutely, I do not have money for that. Well, maybe someday we'll be able to have a turlet. Today is not that day. That's sawdust. I went to the wrong place. Today we're just going to try to sleep until the next day. It is now officially nighttime, so I can go to bed. That's nice. It's gonna let me sleep now. It's got the little sleepy time button there. Oh, I can sleep anywhere. I don't have to come back. Oh. Okay. Well, that's much better. Okay, 182. When guests have completed. Alright, great. Hey, what's up? Hope to sniff out something good today. I hope so too. Okay, let's see.
There you go. You two have a nice day. I've got to build a bathroom real quick before this person gives me a bad rating on Yelp or whatever. Perfect. The perfect bathroom. You mooched off your own future. Yep. Yeah. Alright, bathrooms now. Amazing. Now, guess need it's for immediately for Matt. We should turn your attention to most important motivation by renting a room in this motel. Being comfortable? Taking some time off? Repression. Recognizing the insight into customer motivation towards your product is key detail about our marketing. You're doing the thing again. Why would anyone stay in this sum hole? Hey, I put a lot of work in this place. That's right, running away from what you can't escape. Shady pawn shop debt collectors yourself. That's a little dark. Doing for one of our most popular facilities, a bar. It's far worse. Not just any bar, a tasteful, sophisticated establishment, a distillery. How refined. Okay. Extra amenities. All guests appreciate them in general. Okay, some guests will look specifically for a distillery, sure. Okay, I don't don't think I have enough money for that. Yeah, I definitely don't. <clears throat> so I'll have to worry about that another time. Now we'll put a couple more of these things up here. Since I can. You know, you know how it'd be. There we go. So prestigious now. <coughs> oh, geez, 400. Okay, yeah, that's gonna take a bit. That's okay, though. We got stuff going on now.
Da, 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 do. Everything we need is right here. Yeah. Well, uh, we're making progress. We built a turlet. Heard good things about turlets. And we've got some more guests coming. So we're doing our thing. We'll do more thing next time on Baron Breakfast, but for now, goodbye.